by mm -hmm. Design. Thanks for joining me today. I have a really fun project. I know I say that, but honestly, I love what I do, and I love that I get to share it with you. This was um, a special project that I made for my friend Tracy at FMR Design, and I'll put the caption below to her Etsy shop. She makes the most gorgeous digital papers, kits, tags, and she had one that was all bee themed. Actually, this is a combination of her farmhouse papers and her bee papers, and um, I'll link those in my blog so that you can find them. And she graci graciously shared them with me and said, do whatever you want. So I decided, because I love bees and I love honey, that I wanted to make a farmhouse style bee themed journal. And this is a chunky monkey. This is five and three quarters by seven and three quarters with a three inch spine and loaded, oops, something fell out of the pocket, loaded with textures and various textiles and trims. And I built the base um, from chipboard, covered it with canvas, just natural canvas. Then there's a burlap panel. This is a vintage lace handkerchief that I stitched onto the burlap and then layered up these beautiful papers from Tracy's shop. And then this is one of the Tim Holtz lace um, baseboard frames. And I'll just tell you very quickly, because this was a new technique. I'm going to hold it up so you can, hopefully the camera will pick up. But when these come, they're just gray and white. And they're neat, but they're, you know, a little boring. So what I did was I sponged on um, some Wild Honey Distress Oxide ink. And then I spritzed with water and heat dried. Then I came in with Seth Apter Vintage Beeswax, Beeswax Baked Texture. What else would you use on a bee-themed album? And I embossed pretty heavily with that. And then that was a little shinier than I wanted it to be. So then I came in with more Distress Oxide. I did um, Vintage Photo and I did, I forget what the other one, it was one of the brown ones, but this was really cool. I've never done this before, and if you feel brave, you might wanna give it a try. I brushed that directly over the surface of the frame, so it was covered. Then I spritzed it with water, I dabbed up the big heavy spots, and then came in and actually re-embossed the vintage beeswax baked texture, and the color sunk in underneath the embossing powder, which was just so cool. It's like magic. It was really fun to watch. And so I liked that so much. I came back again with another one of the brown ones. I think it was Walnut Stain. And I did that again, spritzed with water. And like you can see, it, in real life, you can see these wonderful like age spots that developed underneath and inside the embossing powder. So totally cool. See, it doesn't wipe off. It's all sealed inside that and it created wonderful texture. So that was exciting. That was a new thing. I'd never done that before. So these are little birdie flowers. This is a beautiful, beautiful bee charm from Renea uh, bouquet on Etsy. And then just all these wonderful paper layers and stitching. So on the spine, this is some linen that I had, printed linen and I just added some stitching to that. Stitched these wonderful wood buttons. This is from my pal, uh, Becky Nicklin, Cakes from Cabin Ridge. She sent these to me and they were perfect for this. So I just stitched the whole button card onto the linen before I attached the linen to the spine and then added more flowers. This is another lovely bee charm from Renea Bouquets and then a Tim Holtz vintage pin. The ribbon is really reasonable ribbon, um, black houndstooth. On the back, I covered the canvas with this wonderful burlap. So I just love the texture. It just feels rustic and farmhousey. So on the inside, there's a pocket. And I had a blast going through my, um, uh, I don't know what these are called. They're like fancy papers. This is a faux embossed leather. And I made a pocket. And then look, these are Tracy's images. Look at these darling bees. So of course, this is a tea wallet. Um, 
and then a honey stick and a honey dipper in the pocket here. I'm gonna take these out so they don't fall while we're looking and obviously whoever gets the album will take those out and use them and then you can put photos in this pocket. So lots of wonderful um, PDF images that I just printed out and then inked up. The sweet bumblebee, honey, lovely linen ribbon. Um, here, this is another pattern from um, FMR, and then this lovely image is also from FMR, and then just layered up bits and pieces. I just had the best time putting this together. Um, here's a sweet little photo folio. Look at this image from her shop. Isn't that gorgeous? And these are, here you can get a good idea of the samples of the papers. So a sweet little photo folio that tucks into this little pocket. And then a little tip-in page. This, look at this, isn't that great? That's just the patterned paper. I mean, this design is on there, you just print it out. The Sweeter Than Honey tabs also are a PDF in one of her collections. And then just fussy cut this and inked it up with some distress inks. I have had this one vintage crocheted glove for like ever. Um, I got it ages ago and bought it in an antique shop because it had been scorched um, it was kind of in the clearance bin and there was just one. So this is a little sentiment from the B um, kit and I'll link to all of that. And um, washi tape in the background, vintage buttons from my stash and I just pinned this on here with a quilting pin. Then this page is more, this is like a mulberry paper with a printed design from my stash. And then this is one of the guest checks. These are so cute. And I bundled up a bunch of thread with a vintage button, a little tag with another little tag on top of that. And then this is just a little magnetic flip up. Over here, this is a lace flower that I don't even know where it came from. I just had it in my stash. Washi tape frame, this sweet little uh, bee charm image, another little tag, little tag, little button. And then, oh, I forgot, there's pockets with photo mounts um, in each page unit. So there's another one back here that I didn't show you, but look how cute these are. I just can't stand it. These are so cute. I love bees. I love honey. I have honey every morning. So this was a double page spread. I split it down the middle, and then I came in with some of my stamps and just stamped these bees and the honeycomb and stuff just as a fun look page. Um, then this page is a pocket with another little folio. It's magnetic and that lives in here. Um, and then this actually flips. Wait a minute. Yes, this flips out. And then here's the mysteries of beekeeping explained with this really wonderful little zipper tag. And then this page actually flips up like this. So this wonderful checkerboard, the um, honey, and then the hive. So sweet. Then over here, this was a zipper. This is such a cool um, journal page and it has the zipper. So I just stitched zippers onto each side, added a little charm to the loose threads, and then did a little vignette here and some little stamping. Um, this is a pull-out page with the bees and the plaid, and it just lives back in this pocket. And then, of course, there's room here for a great big photo. And this is home is where the hive is, and there's a little rusty house. Super cute. This is another vintage hanky that I picked up in a thrift shop. I've had this. I've been treasuring it. It just was so perfect for this project. I had to use it. So burlap in the background, a little scrap. This is a great way to use your little scraps. And then I just clustered this together with thread and another bee charm and another vintage button. And then these are really fun. These are little mini file folders and you just print these and cut them and then great little journaling spots. And the washi tape holds them shut but it doesn't tear the paper. And then this is a printed pocket. You print this out and cut it and it makes a wonderful pocket. And then I just added these little um, guest checks, turned them into little folios, room for journaling, room for photo. And of course you could do a photo on the back too. And then these little tags are also 
um, just so sweet. Like, look at that. It's so simple. Just the tag, a button, string, a little sequin. So easy, but so pretty. And then this pocket has more photo mounts with more patterned papers from the um, digital downloads. And then just another pretty little page with a tuck spot. You could put a photo up here. This is another one of the wonderful vintage images. And then these are more of those little mini file folders, only this time I turned them into pockets and put these cute little charms inside. Super sweet. Little sunflower buttons, some really rustic looking trim. And then this is a little corner pocket. Look at the bees, they're so cute. And then this is like a laser cut lace paper I've had forever. And I just turned this into a bookmark and this is one of the beautiful images um, that comes with the download and stitched it onto black cardstock to make a beautiful bookmark. Vintage doily, one of the lovely little bee charms, washi tape, and this is a pocket page. And I had this um, embossed the edges here this is just paper, and then added in the inset the little scraps of the paper I printed. So you could put photos inside or you could do journaling inside. Super fun. This page is shorter than the others. I think that's a fun thing to do. Then the rest of that beautiful lace paper, more charms, little uh, scrap over here on the side, and then the back slash pocket with a couple more of these really cute, I love these guest checks. I love plaid. So actually, I love all these patterns. They're just wonderful. So that goes in here. So that is my beautiful uh, mini album made with digital images from FMR. So hopefully, I've shared some things about digital images that will encourage you to take them for uh, a test drive. They're very easy. They come. You just doubt. You buy them. You download them, and then you print them out on your computer. It's a very easy thing to do. So that's it for me. You can visit my blog, Kathy by Design, where I'll have a linked supply list for all these different papers and things. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I sure would love to have you along for the journey. So now I'm gonna go get my craft on. Thanks for joining me. Bye.